Okay, we're gonna start the shearing of these 15 <laughs> Wakaya alpacas. They have like a little teddy bear look to them right now because they have so much hair. They're staple length, all very <laughs> berries. But um, some of them, like Labriska, have several inches in Jim. Alpacas come in 22 colors. We have colors represented from blacks to fawns to browns and whites and shades in between. So they, they're gonna look a lot different. They're gonna go from looking like a teddy bear to looking like a racehorse, nice and lean. All right, let the shearing begin. We're gonna start with the two stud boys that are over here on the back there, wagon box walker and moose. This section where a blanket would sit is called the blanket fiber and it actually rolls right off like a blanket. This is the primary fiber, so it's the softest fiber on the animal. question I get asked a lot is do they spit? Do alpacas spit? And they can spit. Um, usually I can get through a whole, a whole shearing season without being spit on and so far I have not been spit on. And I like to say it's like can your horse, do my horses kick? Well they've never kicked at me but they could. So of course they can spit but they, they don't want to spit. I'm mom to them and um, they would only spit if they were, wanted me to really stop doing something or if I was being mean to them, which I'm not, but I could be spit on if I was giving a shot or something they really didn't like. But these guys just, they don't spit. <laughs> Nails. Okay, and what I'd like to avoid is second cuttings. That's if I would happen to cut a hair twice. I'll show you an example. Okay, here's what I don't want to do. Like, let's say I took a cut there. And then I go back through to get more, but I take another cut and then you have this little extra. That's a real pain when you're spinning. It makes bumps in your yarn. So I try to avoid second cuttings by pulling the hair down. So I start shearing each animal with the head first. And this is Lorraine. I always take the hair off the top of the head because First of all, it's very hot in Wyoming in most places in the summer. And the second thing is if you're feeding like hay in the winter, like we do, you can, they could have little sticks and seeds that are very itchy or may hurt them. Now Lorraine just now had two um, pieces of hay, these three actually, three, that were very sharp. Now they were kind of laying sideways, but I want that stuff out. So. Sometimes people tag me on Facebook or whatever, and I know they mean well, but it's always annoying to me when I see pictures of alpacas, they'll tag me on with these big heads that nobody ever took the time, there's another one, um, to shear off the head. And they think it's cute or funny. And I, I just don't like that. The animal is way more comfortable when you also shear the head. Okay, so one reason I like to use hand shears 
instead of electric, which I have tried before and I sold my shears after the first year and I tried it again a couple years ago when I was encouraged by a shearer that it would be so much faster and better. The reason is it's so calm and quiet without the electric going and I feel like it's safer. I don't cut them and we can hear the birds singing and as you can see they're, they're just very calm. So that's the reason I do hand shears and it takes me about half an hour to shear, give them their vaccine and do toenails. So if it takes them one full year to grow this hair, I think I could spend half an hour with them. You know, and I really enjoy this time. Here's another example of why I always like to get the head hair off. This one, Vivian, has a lot of seeds in her head. And that would be so uncomfortable and be very itchy. So that's just another reason I like to get the hair off the head to cool them off and so they don't have seeds or any sticks up there. And I shear them standing because it's less stress for the animal. Um, that I could, it could be a lot quicker. I know many alpacas are sheared by throwing them, putting them on the ground and stretching them and then a shearer comes through and does it really quick but I just, I don't want to throw my animals on the ground. And so it's all about less stress. Freedom was born on the 4th of July, nine years ago. So freedom looks like a light fawn, but if that's just because of the sun. If you look on the inside, she's actually a dark fawn. Here's another example of a sun dyed alpaca, which they all get. Johnny here is actually true black. This is Jim 102 and he was born when it was 102 degrees out. Okay, and then each year I give them a vaccine that will protect um, them against tetanus and a few other things. This is a Covexin 8 shot. And Labriska is ready to go. Ready to start her summer. Another thing, I like to get all the hair off the legs because that's just another place. They can be very hot if you leave all that hair on. about here in their side is where is a good place to take a sample right about there and Maria will put that in a bag and we'll measure the staple length 
And if I want, I can send that off to Yoko McCall Laboratories mm -hmm. and they will measure the micron. And that's just the way of promoting the softer fiber by saying how um, thin the hair is and how soft it is. Now that we have all this fiber, what do we do with it? Well, our main seller are alpaca dryer balls. You put this in the dryer to reduce dryer time and static and to have your clothes smelling like your favorite scent. You can put lavender oil or whatever scent you like. We make alpaca hats. This is a poncho I made from the alpacas. And shawls, I made this from Wagon Box Walker and Moose. They're walking around here somewhere and you can just kind of wear it like that. Um, I also make, okay, headbands, fingerless gloves. I also make items from the dog hair, but that's going to be for a whole nother video. This is a shawl I made from the guardian's hair. Very warm. And a scarf. And we also sell items from a USA alpaca co-op. So we have alpaca socks, mittens, gloves, all kinds of things in our ranch store. Smaller ankle socks, uh, feet inserts scrunchies and I also make alpaca felted cowboy hats. Some of the ropes have sold but here's what I have here. This is a Makati and you can buy it like that or I can make you a hackamore, a whole hackamore set. Alpaca is warm in the wool, hypoallergenic, fire resistant, comes in 22 natural colors and is very soft. So if you're interested in anything that we sell in our farm store check it out on the bottom of our video here. It's gonna be right it is right there, right, right now. If you'd like to see more videos from us, make sure to hit subscribe and the bell next to it. That way you will get notified when we have a new video.